Hey y'all, we're having a blessed night. It's so good to see you. Right now, many people are re still reeling from the aftermath of Hurricane Harvey in Texas and Louisiana and other parts of the country. And now many people are watching Hurricane Irma as it makes its way toward Florida. And I pray for the people in the Caribbean that have been battered by this hurricane or still are being battered in some parts of the Bahamas. And I just pray that God will just protect them and keep them safe and watch over them. And I pray that God will also protect everyone in Florida and other places that are going to be affected by the wind and rain as it heads farther north. But I know one thing is for sure, even though this storm is uncertain, the cone of probability is very wide. We don't know for sure where this storm is going to go. And many people are at risk of losing everything they own, literally. And it's very, very sad to think about. But I know that even this uncertainty, I know that one thing is certain, and that is that God is faithful. God will be our ref refuge in the storm. God will help us in our time of need. He will always be there for us. And today at school, I was talking to some people about the storm, and one person actually said that they were scared. They were just really scared about this storm heading our way. And as I went to the grocery store after work, I saw people stocking up on water and bread. Many of the aisles are totally empty, and it's just kind of sad to see people stocking up because they want to be prepared, but in some of their eyes, I could sense fear. They're just afraid. They're afraid of what's going to come in the future, what's going to happen with this storm. And they're stocking up because it's the only thing they know to do. It's the only thing they can do to prepare. Just buy cases of water, you know, pick up debris around their yard. But there's not much we can do to prepare except just make sure that we do the best we can. But still there's this fear. There's this fear of this storm, this giant hurricane coming. It's one of, I guess, the most intense that's ever been in the Atlantic Basin. So it's very, very strong, very dangerous. But I know that we serve a God who can calm every storm. He can calm every wind, every wave, every storm that comes our way. And in the book of Luke, chapter 8, Jesus calms a storm with the disciples. This is what happened. It says, One day Jesus said to his disciples, Let's go over to the other side of the lake. So they got into a boat and set out. As they sailed, he fell asleep. A squall came down on the lake so that the boat was being swamped, and they were in great danger. The disciples went and woke him, saying, Master, Master, we're going to drown. He got up and rebuked the wind and the raging waters. The storm subsided, and all was calm. Where is your faith? he asked his disciples. In fear and amazement, they asked one another, Who is this? He commands even the winds and the water, and they obey him. The same one who calmed the winds and the waves for, for the disciples in the Bible can calm the wind and the waves right now for us. Jesus Christ is in control, and he knows that we will be kept safe from the storm if we just put our trust in him. As he asked the disciples, where is your faith? We don't have any reason to fear the future or to fear this terrible storm that's coming our way. We can know for certain that Jesus Christ will keep us safe. He will rebuke the wind and the waves, and they will die down. Now, we may end up having some rain, we may end up having some damage to our homes or our different barns or structures or garages, whatever we have. But if we're kept safe, as Governor Scott said earlier this week, he said we can rebuild the houses and the structures, but we can't rebuild our lives. And our lives are what are important. We need to keep ourselves safe from all harm. But we can put our faith in Jesus Christ. We can put our faith in the Lord and Savior, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, the Prince of Peace. Because Jesus wants to keep us safe. He wants to be there for us to help us in our time of need. And he will give us peace that passes all understanding if we just put our trust in him. Maybe you're watching this video and you don't live anywhere near the Caribbean or Florida or even Georgia or South Carolina. Maybe you weren't in Texas or Louisiana either. Maybe you live in some other part of the world. But maybe you're dealing with a storm of a different kind. Perhaps the wildfires are out west. Or maybe a storm that's not even a natural disaster at all. Maybe you're facing a financial storm. Maybe you're struggling to pay the bills. Maybe you're looking for a job because you're laid off. Maybe you're facing a physical storm where you're facing an illness that has no cure and the doctors have not given you much time to live. Whatever storm you face, put your trust in Jesus Christ. Because just as he can calm the wind and waves, he can call the, calm the figurative wind and waves in your life, whatever those wind and waves may be, whatever is causing turmoil in your life, whatever is causing you sleepless nights and distress and despair and depression, God can handle anything because nothing is impossible with God. 
He loves you beyond imagination. He is right there beside you, waiting for you to call on him and reach out for his hand and ask for, for help today. If you want the solution to finding peace, even in your time of need, even in your time of sorrow or despair or just fear, call on Jesus Christ. In the book of Philippians chapter 4, it tells us what we should do. In chapter 4, verse 6, it says, Do not be anxious. Do not be fearful. Don't worry, is what it's saying. Don't worry about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So the Bible tells us if we're worried, don't worry. Pray. Give thanks to God for all of his many blessings. And ask him to give you this peace that passes all understanding. It's a peace that we can't even really begin to understand on this earth. But it's a peace that we can have on this earth because God will give us this peace to calm our hearts, to calm our fears, to calm every worry and care that we have. The Bible tells us to cast our cares on him, for he cares for us. Don't sit there worrying about the hurricane. Don't worry about anything that's going on in your life. Give your worries to God. Cast off your burdens. Don't carry around a bunch of burdens when you can lay them at the altar. Give your burdens to the Lord and leave them there, as that wonderful song tells us. Don't worry. Don't be anxious. Pray. Have thanksgiving. And then the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will fill your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. We don't have to worry about these forecasts for the storm. Because even in the midst of the storm, Jesus will calm the wind and waves. He will keep us safe from harm and bring us through so that we can turn this trial, this test, into a testimony and testify of the goodness of the Lord and how he brought us through safe and sound. May God bless you. Be encouraged. I pray that God will protect you and your families and keep you safe from all harm as we wait for this storm to head farther north. But remember, even in this storm, even in every trial you face in life, Jesus Christ will calm the wind and waves. He will give you peace that passes all understanding because Jesus loves you more than you could ever possibly imagine. So in every storm in life, put your trust in Jesus Christ today.